Okay, y'all, so like, listen, really, really listen. No matter how tired you are, you should still do the work. Put in the effort, whatever you can, whether that's 25%, 50%, 0%, go and do something that is way better than nothing. And then once you get that started, once you get that momentum built up, you're gonna feel so much better once it's over. It's pretty late at night, the gym just closed, but in today's video, I'm gonna be going over the worst thing you could be eating once you leave the gym. Tell you, it was a doozy when you do things correctly and feel the muscle working. Let's get into it. Yeah, oh, can I get the number one? Yeah, all right. Fettuccine Alfredo or just Olive Garden to go. The worst meal you can possibly get, and in general, Taco Bell is probably not the best option to be getting food from, especially after workout. Here, we have two beef burritos supreme. It's probably the best option out of all here, just because it's probably the most high in protein. Not sure how it's made, not sure how great the quality of the protein is, but there's that. Cinnamon Delights, I have four of them. Definitely, definitely a negative five out of 10 on how great it is. And then we got three nacho cheese Doritos Locos Tacos, which is, in my opinion, probably like a negative two. Either way, this is definitely not the best option of food you should be getting to eat. But I'm starving. And uh, I'm gonna enjoy this food. Because th this right here, I believe, it, la last time I looked it up, this is about close enough to 2,000 calories, if I remember correctly. I know it's above 1,000. Like, come on, like, the thing about it, there's a bunch of cheese in here. Um, the Simon Delights is probably like 250 for just one delicious thing just like this mm. it's so good but to wrap up this video you should not go to Taco Bell after your workout especially if it's down the street from your house try to avoid it at all costs and um, thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video